Imagine getting on a spacecraft, lifting off and watching Earth recede, knowing you'll never again be able to set foot on your home planet. That's exactly what over a thousand people are vying to do as they compete for a space on the Mars One mission. A one-way ticket to the Red Planet. There's a South African among them, and Seth got the details. If someone says Mars One to you, your first reaction might be to think of an exciting new hybrid brand of chocolates. Your first reaction would thus be wrong, and you would have failed the first intelligence test for a position as one of the first space colonists in the biological history of your species. Shame. Looks like you'll be missing the boat when the Dutch non-profit company Mars One sends a handful of humanoids on a one-way mission to colonize Mars in 2024. That's okay, you can ask Quibus van Mullen from Joburg to send you a space rock or something. Mars One's rather ambitious plan is for a demonstration mission comprised of an unmanned lander and satellite to be launched in 2018. The concept studies for which are being done by aeronautics heavyweights Lockheed Martin and Surrey Satellite Technology Limited. The first four astronauts are scheduled to leave in 2024 and land in 2025, with four additional astronauts joining them every two years thereafter. By the time the first people land, their habitats will have already produced a large supply of oxygen and water from soil extraction. At least, that's the plan. So how does candidate selection work? Well, I'll tell you. Mars One accepted over 200,000 applications between April and September 2013, out of which 1,058 were selected for round two of the applications process, comprised of medical evaluations and interviews with the selection committee. That's where we are right now, and Quibus is one of 25 South Africans in that complement of 1,058 brave souls. There are two more rounds to go. By the final round, the group will have been whittled down to between 20 and 40 people. They'll undergo nine years of simulation training to become the first people to set foot on Mars in the history of the universe. Which brings us to young Quibus. My motivation for going is that I've been interested in the planet and Mars specifically for a very long time since I was little. I used to have this scrapbook where I pasted articles about Mars and about going to the stars and so on. So this is sort of a lifelong dream for me. Um, as a South African, you know there's no space program that you can apply to. Um, so the amount of uh, spaces available in astronaut selection programs worldwide are very small. And when this opportunity came along, I just couldn't not do it. One of the things you'll have to remember is that you'll never experience anything about Earth again. So trees and dogs and pizzas and beers and all those things, you leave behind and you'll never experience them again. But then again, you experience a lot of things on Mars that you can't experience on Earth. So you have 38% gravity and a whole bunch of every rock that you pick up is a rock that nobody else has picked up. Um, so I think people that say they've missed nothing are either lying or they haven't considered the issues. I definitely think that humanity's future is in the stars. Uh, we need to leave the planet because we have a number of issues uh, facing Earth at the moment. We've got overpopulation, climate change. Uh, we need to secure the future of our species and the only way to do that is to get off the planet, sort of like a cosmic insurance policy. Of course, money doesn't grow on the moon. Indeed, the biggest threat to a project of this breadth and scale is a fund drought. The Dutch, however, are banking on the power of TV, with the majority of the funding projected to come from corporate sponsorship and television rights. All of which is to say, prepare yourselves to see a lot more of Quivis's face in the near future. To infinity and beyond! <laughs>